I agree with you, however. There is, and I said this later on in the speech when I had calmed down and, uh, and rightly apologised afterwards about the initial outburst, mm. that there is an argument about how we do same-sex spaces. As a gay man, I actually really appreciate sometimes single gender spaces to be able to be with other men, other gay men usually, to be able to talk about sensitive issues. And I know that my women friends and colleagues, for a safety level, even more important, appreciate and need that as well. Towards children. Well, if they have a history, if they have a history yep. of sexual assault, then they're not allowed to get a GRC. That is explicitly said that in the Scottish Act. In fact, they put those additional safeguards in. Um, the, the, the idea that you or anybody else, any other man, you know, with a beard even, could just say, I'm a woman, I can therefore, I, I've got a right to come into these well, single sex spaces. They, now, a lot of people think they're single gender spaces. Under the law, they should be single sex spaces. A, a 16 year old boy could uh, say, I'm actually, I'm a girl, I want to be in but a single that's, that's sex not girls' what this school. About. No, but this, that's but, not what but this, about. But this can, law my will allow my, that. No, no, I can change my gender on my passport and driving license already a self-ID without this particular law changing one way or another. Now, there is an argument that you might want to put extra safeguards on passport and driving licences, but those are the forms of an ID that people check. No one has ever asked me for my um, a, a birth certificate. The last time I used my birth certificate, I think, was when I first applied for a, a, for a passport, you know, kind of when I was probably about the age of 13.